All right, let's find a new slide deck now. <laughs> All right, it is 11.35 in my watch, so we'll get started. We've given five minutes buffer for people to get in and let them come in. Uh, so this title of this talk is Inverting the Pyramid, uh, and we can introduce the word testing in it because I'm going to eliminate the word testing from it eventually. Uh, that's essentially the idea of this talk. This is an experience report of me having done this for two specific organizations where we have uh, inverted the testing pyramid, and I'll talk about what that means and why the title. Uh, so everyone's familiar with, uh, you know, back in the Stone Age, the kind of development we did, and there's the surprise. Yes? So what do we see in, in stuff like this, right? When we do development in this fashion where we plan, design, distribute work, work in isolation, and then come back and try to integrate stuff, right? I've not even put the testing part yet, right? Uh, I'm just talking about this, even this stage, we see a big surprise. Uh, so what we see generally is a lot of last minute surprises. Bad things are visible too late and we find that as a real problem, all right? Actually, let me pause for a second and ask how many people got a chance to look the slides before they came in, okay? So for some people, what I'm going to talk is kind of sounding familiar, uh, but for the rest of them, we'll kind of go a little slower. Because my idea is to brush through first initial section and spend a lot of time uh, getting into more interactive session where I want to talk through some basics and then get people's experience and kind of take it from there on an evolutionary path, all right? So bad things are visible too late. We, we get last minute surprises. This, is, this, is, this was a typical problem. So to address this problem, what did we do? From a, from a distribute work and then get back and integrate everything together and then test it. To address that issue, what was the uh, practice that teams started practicing? Continuous integration, right? Any other practice? Early feedback. How do we get early feedback? What specific practice? Test driven development, fantastic. What else did we do? Continuous delivery. Continuous delivery. So we, we went further uh, all the way and, and, and started looking at continuous delivery, right? So let's talk about uh, birth of continuous integration. Uh, anyone knows which 